Chrono Cursed, a time travel horror. The whirring of the time machine echoed in the small, cluttered workshop. Dr. Eleanor Vance, her face pale under the harsh fluorescent lights, stared at the swirling vortex of energy before her. The years of research, the countless sleepless nights fueled by the promise of rewriting history, had brought her to this moment. This was it. This was the culmination of her life's work. Eleanor took a deep breath, the air smelling of ozone and burnt circuits. Her fingers trembled as she adjusted the dials, setting the date to 1888, the year her grandfather had tragically died in a mining accident. She envisioned her grandfather, hale and hearty, living a long life, a life he would have enjoyed had fate not intervened. A jolt ran through the machine as it activated. Eleanor braced herself, her heart pounding against her ribs. The world dissolved into a blinding white before solidifying into a stark, sepia-toned reality. She emerged onto a dusty cobblestone street, the air thick with the smell of coal and horse manure. The world felt wrong, distorted. The sounds, the smells, even the colors were off-kilter. Finding her bearings, Eleanor headed towards the mine where her grandfather had perished. Her resolve wavered. The air here was heavy, pregnant with an unseen dread. As she approached the mine entrance, the air turned cold, a chill that seeped into her bones. A low, guttural moan echoed from within the mine shaft, a sound so ancient, so primal, it sent shivers down her spine. In that moment, Eleanor felt a presence a malevolent entity that had been waiting for her. She turned to leave, but a cold hand clamped down on her shoulder. Don't you want to see your grandfather? A raspy voice whispered in her ear. Eleanor's blood turned to ice. She couldn't see the face of the speaker, only a dark silhouette against the gloom of the mine entrance. Who are you? She stammered, fear constricting her throat. I am the one who keeps time, the voice rasped and I will not allow you to interfere with its natural flow. Terror propelled her forward, desperate to break free from the chilling grip. But the hand tightened, and a searing pain erupted through her body. It felt like a thousand needles piercing her flesh. Then, darkness. When Eleanor woke, she was back in her workshop, the time machine dormant, the air buzzing with a silent, ominous energy. Her body throbbed, each muscle burning with a pain that went beyond the physical. She looked at the time machine, its sleek metal surface now scarred and chipped, a testament to the encounter. On its control panel, the date flickered. Not 1888, but 1988, the year she was born. She realized then that time was not a river she could navigate at will. It was a torrent, a force she could not manipulate, a force that protected its flow with deadly ferocity. The past, like the future, was set in stone. And she, in her hubris, had awakened something ancient, something terrible, something that would never forgive her transgression. Eleanor stared at the date on the control panel, her heart pounding. She could never go back. She could never go forward. She was trapped, a prisoner in her own time, forever haunted by the chilling whisper of the entity who guarded the flow of time and the terrifying realization that she had just witnessed the very reason why. Thank you for diving into the spine-chilling mysteries with Chills Unveiled. If you've enjoyed the eerie tales and creepy narratives that send shivers down your spine, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more hair-raising content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an unveiling of the unknown. Join the community of thrill seekers and let the darkness unfold. Subscribe now and let the nightmares continue.